Hi, so a real quick overview here of uh, using the Hudson Multi Adapter to put your albuterol treatments in line with uh, someone who's been intubated. And this actually also can be used with a bag valve mask as well. So we'll say for the sake of uh, the scenario here that we've just had a patient who was uh, asthmatic, uh, needed to be intubated, so we've uh, got the patient intubated now. ET tube is in, they're still wheezing. Uh, we want to add albuterol to our treatment uh, as per protocol. Uh, in the past, we've not been able to do this of significant amount of jury rigging that would uh, help us put this in line. So what we have now, it'll come in a white container here, in a white plastic bag. It's gonna be in with the nebulizers. It is the 15 millimeter to 22 millimeter adapter. Doesn't look like much, but uh, this will help a lot. So basically how this works, we're gonna remove the BVM from the ET tube. We're gonna take the uh, larger part of the adapter here, put it over the ET tube, uh, and then you've got your albuterol set up. So we've got our albuterol here. We can run this at six or eight liters per minute, whatever we wanna do here. Attach the T connector, and then this adapter allows us to use the corrugated tubing to attach to the endotracheal tube, which then plugs into the T connector, and then we can put our bag valve mask here, and we can bag the patient in line with the nebulizer. Notice the nebulizer stays upright as well, so we're gonna be able to keep the uh, medication down at the bottom so it can be nebulized uh, and flow in that. If you have not intubated the patient yet and you're still using the BLS airway here, uh, same deal. So we've got our BVM, which will be uh, assisting with the patient, assisting respirations there. Uh, and it's the same process, except we don't have an ET tube in the way. So we're gonna be using the adapter again. Uh, adapter goes into the mask, and then we'll take the corrugated tubing so we can bend it. There's our nebulizer once more. We're going to attach this uh, and then we can attach the BVM to the other side of the T-connector. So here's our line up there and same process. We're going to get our seal here, open the airway and we're going to assist ventilation that way. We still again are getting the nebulized treatment into your patient uh, even without an ET tube. Uh, so this is a pretty good uh, addition to our stuff here that we're going to be able to treat patients a little more aggressively if, if they do end up uh, needing advanced or even uh, BLS uh, ventilation with uh, significant wheezing. And uh, again, this equipment is all available here at Commerce, so please come by, try it out there, piece it together. Uh, you don't want the first time you do this to be um, out in the field where you're already stressed out and you're trying to figure out how to put this together. So uh, come check us out. Thanks.